Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 124 of 2024, and I'm continuing the story of King Goodness, the King of Kosala was not convinced that his minister, who was newly arrived from the city of Benares, was telling the truth. He thought he might well be, well, trying to get him to go up against King Goodness to be vanquished. He let him know that. And the minister said, well, put him to the test. Send a party of marauders to ravage one of his distant villages and see what happens. So the king of Kosala agreed to do this. And he sent a troop of his men to ravage this one village. They stole things, they burned homes. They injured people. They may have even killed some people. <clears throat> now, King Goodness had some of his men, of course, accost these marauders. But they were instructed to do so in a nonviolent way, which you can imagine is much more difficult capturing someone than it is to kill them outright. But they did so, and they brought these marauders before King Goodness. And he lectured them a bit and said, why are you doing this? If you are in need, come see me. I will take care of your needs. You don't have to hurt people in order to get what you want. Come see me next time. And then he rewarded them, gave them gifts, and sent them on their way. Well, when these main men came back and told the king, king of Kosala, what had happened, the minister said, see, I told you, King Goodness, he's soft. He's a ripe fruit, ready to be picked. The king of Kosala still did not believe the minister. So the minister said, well, send another Band of marauders, but even closer this time. So the king of Kosala did so. And they were captured again and taken before the king. And the king talked to them about what they should and shouldn't do. And that if they needed things to come see him. And he sent them on their way, having given them things, gifts, to take back with them. The minister said, I, I told you. I told you this was so. Attack, attack him. He's soft. The king of Kosala was still not convinced. So the minister said, well, send a band of marauders right in to the city of Benares and see what happens. So the king of Kosala agreed and off they were sent. And into the city they went and they looted and ravaged, injured people again. Of course, even more quickly this time than before. King Goodness's men captured these and brought them before him. King Goodness treated them in the same manner that he had before. He told them, please, just come see me if you need something. There's no need to do harm. These meant as well they were sent on their way with the gifts having seemingly been rewarded for their violent and evil deeds. Well, King Goodness he was committed. He was committed to living in a way that was as morally upright as you could possibly live. Now the king of Kasala, when he saw the third band having even attacked the city, 
came back. He had all of his war ministers summoned and they began their march upon the city of Benares. And we'll leave the story there. We do have a couple of days march to get there, but we'll see what happens when they do. Okay, thanks for joining. Have a good rest of your day or evening.